Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. <laughs> moments that uh, we first of all thank God, uh, thank uh, the leadership of the party, the president Dr. Edika Chagalunde and the entire leadership, uh, senior members Professor Kandu, members of Central Committee for the support and solidarity that uh, was rendered to our gallant uh, honorable member for Fuwe, one of very strong female leader and politician. It has now become a norm, as usual, that critical voices and every attempt to stop the wrongs that are being occasioned by our colleagues that are in government is met with brutality and abuse of uh, institutions of government, particularly law enforcement agencies. We will not discuss much around the issues to do with what led to Honorable Mawonga being in uh, incarceration. But uh, having been there myself, I can only say congratulations. This is 
institution has produced great men and great women. And you are enlisted among them. So it is not a minus that you went there. It's actually a plus. And I can only but, uh, as usual, invite first of all a senior member of the party as speaking on behalf of the women. Uh, in view of the fact that you are also privileged to go through this process. Uh, Honorable Professor can go. Maybe you can make a comment before she can speak. Well, thank you very much, uh, SG. I think speaking on behalf of the women of Zambia, for me it just brings very sad reading to see women going through this kind of... Uh, um, being subjected to this kind of uh, life. You know that women have a lot of issues that surround them, especially young women like this. And to keep somebody for over one week in a custody, I think is not right. And I think we also need to look at uh, the implications of mental health. When people are confined in a small room, I think this can only be done when your, your case has been uh, investigated and then you find yourself guilty of that offense then you can be punished like that but for somebody to be kept beyond 48 hours for a case that is straightforward a case that is valuable i think it is very very sad I would like to say to those that are behind this kind of uh, um, activities, those that are in government, we were in government before ourselves. And I, I don't think that this is the right way to treat people. Even if people say PF was brutal, I can tell you I've been in so many governments. I served President uh, Chiluba. I, pres I served President um, Sata, I served President Lungu. This kind of thing has ne is unprecedented. It has never happened. All I can do is sympathize with the women, uh, Honorable Nawaku and Honorable Mabonga, and uh, just say to them, God is above everything. God is kind, and the word of God will always prevail, especially if you are innocent. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, uh, Professor. And uh, as I invite you to speak, I want to tell you that your gallant fight saved your life. Yes. If you didn't get Simon Kara to speak on behalf of your colleague JJ Banda, the story would have been different. Yes, yes. And therefore, be proud to have gone through this process because their life was saved. And that is on record. Okay. I call upon you. Thank you so much, SG. Um, first of all, I want to thank God for keeping me alive and safe up to this time. And um, uh, SG, what uh, I went through is not easy, but I can assure you that uh, us women are strong. Yes. Um, I've given birth three times, so <laughs> yeah. that, that can tell you that I am strong. Because no pain can supersede labor. That is according to, to the Bible. Mm. Uh, just want to take this opportunity also to thank um, my president, uh, President Edgar Chagwal, yeah. and the entire leadership, starting with you, SG, all the members of parliament for standing with me, standing with my family. I know that you had a very difficult time trying to see me, even when I was admitted in hospital. Uh, people would tell me this one came and they were sent back, uh, just like that. And for me, this is what I usually tell people, PF is a family. And for me, even in my next life, I want to be PF. <laughs> I, yeah, 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 yeah. I want to be PF in my next uh, life. Because we, 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 are, we are not just politicians, we are family. Yes. And and we 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 see the value of uh, being in PF when you go through such uh, situations. They will never leave you alone. Mm. So I want to say thank you to my family PF, and I also just want to say thank you to everyone that supported me. Uh, here I am today. I'm out, and uh, thank God for that. Thank you so much. Thank you.
the, the chief of Mamu in Nigeria. Yes, I just want to say thank you to every other woman that came out and every other woman from day one when my dear sister here, my young sister, uh, was uh, put in police cells. Uh, this is the way it should be and do not be discouraged. You go down in the book of records that you spoke for your people and that is what is very important and I just want to call upon every member that let us not be intimidated. We are members of parliament elected by the people to speak for them in terms of uh, situations that they are not able to speak for on their behalf. So uh, I, I call every other member here and I just want to thank my colleagues from parliament, the women folk, they've come out in numbers to support our dear sister. My dear sister, do not be discouraged. You go down in the book of records. This should not intimidate you, should not bring your spirit down. And believe you me, this will not be the first, neither will it be the last arrest. And I call upon every other member to come when there are times like this. It will, it's just not on Maureen, it's just not on SG, it's on all of us. So let's stand more united than we've ever been before. Even this too shall pass. So thank you very, very much on behalf of the women. Uh, for also the men, I've seen members of parliament also, uh, dear colleagues, thank you for supporting us, uh, for, uh, for coming out, you know, from, from day one. And to our other colleagues that went out before Maureen, please let us not relent, we must keep pushing. Actually, our role as members of parliament is to give checks and balances yes. to the government. So government should not be irritated when the opposition is speaking. Government should really look what is the opposition saying. We allow them to speak when they were in opposition, and that's how they formed government. Mm. So we are also allowed, we have that privilege. Zambia is a democratic state, and we'll continue to speak. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. We are just thanking members of parliament. What about <laughs> This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Alright, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondo. I love you, peace. I gotta go.